The swim library of the College of William and Mary is more than a storehouse of books. I've always looked at colleges like, okay, just get through it, do four years, be perfect, get everything you need to do done, and then you can have fun, and then you can do this. And I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. I think the reason, I think we do have individuals in the school, and I think it's a big majority of our, the student body that do put a lot of pressure on themselves and do stress themselves out, and that in and of itself self makes it a high pressure environment. And when you put that many, you know, intellectual people together, it's going to generate that kind of environment. The weaknesses is that we want to be the person who's like, oh, well, I'm doing this and this and this, and I'm the president of this, and I, um, I don't know, I do this service on the side, but I also go out on the weekends, and then I do all of these great <laughs> things, and I, I feel like. It's not necessarily an academic rigor as some, as much as it is like a, a balance rigor, and it's all about like, like the, the pressure is. Um, I think the pressure is on being that person who has that balance and who has it all, and that's really not realistic. Um, I feel stressed probably a hundred percent of the time, all the time, just because I'm kind of like a jittery person in general. Um, why do I feel stressed? I think I care a lot about so many different things. So I think my passions and like my dedication kind of turns, manifests into stress because I just place so much worth into things that n I don't necessarily need to. You almost like set expectations for yourself. Like I've gotten, I don't know, like last semester I, I got a 3.85 or something like that. Um, never gotten that before. Probably won't ever get that again, but I remember once you get that for yourself, you think, oh, I got a 3.85, that means I can do better next semester. So originally my goal when I came here was just like graduate with some sort of Greek honor, like cum laude, literally like anything. Um, but once I hit that, I was like, oh wow, I can graduate summa cum laude, like let's just make that happen. If I get the 3.85 for every other semester that I'm here, I'll graduate with that. I think it's important to define your self-worth through things like outside of your grades and like yeah. what people think of you and like how many parties you go to to a week and what your GPA is and how many credits you take. So. Like people think I'm a serial killer. Because there's just so many things going on all the time. I just have problems. I know that if I have an exam coming up or if I have a big assignment coming up that I I tell myself, well, I can either work really hard now and then as soon as it's over celebrate by like, you know, having dinner with friends or going out or, you know, seeing people and um, and if I do the opposite, which is like like go out and like have fun with friends before, then I'm not gonna have a good result. So I just have to keep telling myself that, you know, you work hard you work hard, play hard, so you work for work first and you play later so it's I think that's like a really big mentality that I've had this semester and I think that hopefully I, like that helps and like it will continue on till we graduate. It's just about kind of I like to like do like little reward systems so like if I if I finish this paper if I get half this paper done then like I get to go have lunch with my big or like if I do um, if I finish this reading in this amount of time then I can go like out to lunch, you know, just things like that. I think it's important to really make the most of your time on this earth. Do what you really want to be doing. Don't put so much pressure on yourself because in the end, you want to look back on your time and realize that you really made the most of it and you weren't squandering it away in the library. I don't know. Not that you shouldn't, you should always prioritize school first, but don't, I think it's when you have really great time management and work-life balance, you can prioritize when you like make your memories and have your fun, and you can choose to do things that will make you ultimately more productive without making like pushing yourself to an unhealthy limit. I wrote an essay yesterday, and it's due December like 11th, and I stayed up all night just critiquing it because done. <laughs> well I don't I just like I like to be a week ahead that's like my thing like I just have to be a week ahead. if I'm a week if I'm on time then it doesn't feel right like you have to be a week ahead